stop trying to come in the front door of whatever industry you want to crack the code on because you're not going to come in the front door right nobody's going to roll out the red carpet for you as an entrepreneur or whatever you're trying to do and say come on in the front door be successful right out of the gates you deserve it right just for being you just because you're a swell guy Let me ask you something. If I lined up 100 people right now and I asked them, do you want to be wealthy? I'd get 100 yeses. If I lined up an, the same 100 people and I'd say, do you want to be unhappy with your life? Every single one of them would be like, no, of course not. Line them back up, say, hey, do you want to be successful? They'd all say yes. None of them want to be mediocre. None of them want to live below average, live below their means. Why is it that, especially now in today's society, that we have only one to two percent of people actually ever breaking free? It, it's always been a thing in my opinion, but it's significantly gotten worse as social media has evolved and the internet and Instagram and, and like Facebook, right? And YouTube and Twitter and Snapchat and Vine, like I don't think Vine's around anymore, but you get it. And it's <laughs> so, like social, social media. And you know, because back in the day, it, there wasn't as much thinking that the grass is greener, right? It's always greener. It's always greener. It's always they're, they're, greener. They're and, staring at this. Sure. What, what do you call it? You call it like a highlight reel. Exactly, a highlight reel. You know, you're looking at other people's Instagrams and you're going, oh, I want the Lamborghinis. I want the nice stuff. Do but, you feel like it's a microwave mentality? Like the, the environment we've been living in is now at a place where everybody wants instant gratification. I do. And I also think that what you said a second ago, the highlight reel, right? So we know that that's a highlight reel, but a lot of people don't. So you, when you look at like the 97 or 98% of people out there, especially millennials, they forget to ever even realize that, right? Like that doesn't enter their conscious mind. So they think that that's just how people live their life. And it never has occurred to them that that is their highlight reel and that that is one of 300 pictures that was taken in the perfect lighting at the perfect time of day. And, um, and so realizing that's the first step, like that, that's, that's a big part of getting back to, you know, real, like the real world and actually going and, and creating something for yourself is just understanding that, I think. How, how do I help people have a mindset shift? And I know um, I've been working with you for how long? Four years. Four years mentoring him. And if you don't know Austin by now, this guy's an absolute badass, superstar real estate investor and agent. Probably have seen him in some of my other videos. I asked him to come up here and shoot this video because I wanted to have some perspective. A lot of my followers are younger yeah. and I've mentored a lot of young people to become very successful. And I want to always tap into that youthful energy and understand a little bit more. And so, you know, for me, when my son and I'm, I have a nine year old now, right? He's into iPad and he TikTok and he's doing what I guess used to be called Musical.ly or something. Um, and I try to get involved in his stuff. And he's so like he has an iPad in his hand since he can remember, right. you know, and it's like, how do I help? train him and put him in an environment and help condition him to have a mindset for success because I know the truth you know the truth and it you get it through a mentor relationship or through failure and you finally come out the other end and realize it's this bullshit mindset of instant gratification isn't going to get you to the promised land it's short-term sacrifices long-term gains and you have to have a long-term investing mindset in business if you want to win the game. But I see guys like you and I'm like, God, he's got all the core ingredients. He's got the heart, he's got the hustle, he's got the right mindset, he works on himself, personal development. I see you working from the time you get up to late at night, just sacrificing and all that. But there's also something else going on inside you that I see you and all your friends have, but then there's this massive group of millennials that say they want it. They talk the talk, but their actions don't meet match. Yeah. Is it their mindset? Is it conditioning? Is, like, is it the 
Everybody gets a participation award. Yeah, I think a lot of it's that. You know, I think a lot of it's how they were raised. Um, but like, you can't blame that either, though, right? So like, you know, you you could use that for a little while and say, look, this is how it's raised. But everybody was raised a certain way, and you know what you've been taught thus far doesn't have to be the way you live the rest of your life. You know, and so because I had to learn that, you know, personally. So. Um, you know, I had to teach myself, like I had to shift as Bob Proctor would say my paradigm and realize that there was a new way of thinking for the rest of my life. And that would ultimately shape my destiny. But I think, you know, there's a lot of reasons for it, for the, you know, people talking the big talk and not walking the big walk. And I think, you know, I think a lot of it's sphere of influence, right? Who they're hanging out with. I think there's a lot of people that are lying to themselves and they're not, they're not able to actually look in the mirror and be present with who they are as a person. And, and so, and they're, whether it's They're finding their significance in the post. Yeah. The picture that they post standing in yep. front of somebody else's Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, acting like a badass. Exactly. You just said two very powerful things right there. Um, one is birds of a feather flock together. You are part of your environment. If your five friends are playing small, making excuses, entitled, hanging out, playing video games, whatever they're doing, instead of focused, bettering themselves, always trying to level up, pushing themselves, hustling, you're gonna be the fifth or sixth friend in that. So I, I think that was powerful. The other thing that you said um, reminded me of something my mentor used to always say, and that's where you are isn't who you are, which is kind of a cool concept. You're like, you really don't think like that very often, but it's like a lot of us have had tough upbringings. You grew up in a garage. You know, and I always really uh, admired your hustle in your heart. And I think a large part of that was born out of the struggles that you faced in the past. We all have a challenging past yep. that we deal with. Well, not all of us, but like a lot of people have, have a rough environment. There's addictions, there's, you know, uh, uh, lack of resources, lack of money, people growing up, very poor environment, maybe having a very uh, abusive environment that have made a choice at some point in their evolution, they're either gonna become a victim of that or they're gonna use it as yeah. fuel to get to the other side. I agree, I think that everybody, I think a lot of people are talking about their why and I think that's very crucial, right? Like have a big why and you know understand that and that's obviously a whole nother like video topic but I, I've always been taught to by you and by other guys like be running towards something so that's your why but I'm also running away from something so I'm I'm so I'm chasing something and then I'm also running like trying to get away from something and so like I never want to raise my future family the way that I was like what what happened to me right so like I'm running away from that towards something else I love having somebody hate or doubt on me I can't tell you how many people hung up on me or brushed me aside, made me feel like, you know, I was unimportant, that now are begging to do business with me. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. It's just like, I'll drive right by him slowly in the Lambo, like, yo, what's up, dude? Exactly. How's biz? You know, and it, it's a pretty good feeling. I, I, don't, I don't mind sticking it to mm -hmm. the doubters, but. Yeah, you know, I think you, you said it best in the beginning. I think if people could just stop having the microwave mentality and the, grass is greener and the shiny object syndrome and just focus a little bit more and stop listening to so much noise. It's okay to have, like I have, a, you're my mentor, right? But I also didn't go out and get five other mentors. You know, I had you and you, if you said, hey Austin, and you've told me multiple times, right? Like there's been a lot of different times over the last four years where we've sat in a room together and you've said, go do this, get laser focused, and I won't call you for 90 days, right? Yeah. And because I do what you said to do, I don't, I don't immediately go home and look up Gary V, Andy Frisella, and by the way, these are all good guys. I'm not saying anything's wrong with them. I'm saying you can't have too much, too too much, much. Too much information yeah. because everybody's doing it a little differently and everybody's done it a little differently. They have a different approach and I think that's a huge People problem. People are jumping right now, especially when you see these ads on social media, um, jump in this vehicle, it'll help you get rich, right? And um, everybody wants the straight line to get to the result, and me included. I don't want to get rich slow. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything wrong with get rich fast. It's just not normally the way it works, right? And 
Um, so they're jumping from vehicle to vehicle to vehicle trying to find something. And if it doesn't happen within 90 days, they abandon ship and jump into a different vehicle. They're doing Shopify. Next thing you know, they're over here in the real estate space. And then that doesn't work uh, their time frame. And then they jump over and start a different business in social media marketing. And they're just bang, 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 bang. And then they never get to where they want to go. And so I, th I feel that right now what most people need to do is stop trying to come in the front door of whatever industry you want to crack the code on because you're not going to come in the front door right nobody's going to roll out the red carpet for you as an entrepreneur or whatever you're trying to do and say come on in the front door be successful right out of the gates you deserve it right just for being you just because you're a swell guy the real world doesn't work like that you don't deserve shit right you got to earn it and it takes time to build the relationships and plant the seeds and put in the work and get the results. And over a long period of time, it's not three months, six months. It might not even be a year. It might be two years, five years, a decade. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for 14 years and I'm just starting to feel successful. I've been making money for a long time, but I'm just starting to feel successful. And I'm now in my 40s. Mm -hmm. It's taken me a long time to mature and get to that place. And it's because you can't, and I want to go back to that thought is you're not going to go in the front door and get what you want. I feel like you got to come in the side door. And it's almost like the music industry. If I wanted to break into the music industry, what I'm not going to do is walk into Capitol Records or some major label and say, hey, I'm really good at singing and, and writing songs. I want to put out a hit record next month. Right. I know that's not going to work. I'm not even going to get past the security guard. Right. And if I have this mindset that I'm going to walk in the front door and they're just going to hand it to me. And then I hit the security guard and they tell me to fuck off. And my, oh, now what am I going to do? All my hopes and dreams are crushed and I cry and I abandon ship. No, that's not the way it works. Instead, you got to go onto YouTube and you got to produce 100 YouTube videos, 200 YouTube videos. You got to stay consistent for a long period of time, just putting out free content. Then you got to go and cut a CD in your room after saving up and borrowing money from your parents and doing chores to print a bunch of CDs and then you're gonna sell them around town out of the trunk of your car or you know, ride your freaking bicycle if you have to. And then eventually you might get the attention of somebody who is a little bit more successful, then you can get some proximity to them. Then eventually they might start inviting you to some parties and then after a long period of time of putting in work, yeah. maybe if you're lucky, you'll get that opportunity to just walk alongside of them as they go in the front door. Absolutely. And over time, maybe eventually you'll get your record deal, they'll roll out the red carpet, and you'll have your overnight success yeah. moment. Does that, that make sense? It makes total sense. And I think, honestly, bro, like you're being easy on, on everybody, right? Like I really do. Like when I look back at my life, I think that humility has served me very well until this day. I think it's humility and I think it was always giving without the expectation of receiving always until this very day. I remember, dude, like when I, nobody would introduce me to you for two years, like I, but I never had timelines in my head. I never had an expectation. It was never like, okay, I'm going to give this 24 months and if it doesn't work, I'm done. Or I'm going to give this 90 days. So many people tell me that all the time. I get DMs. They're like, Austin, I'm going to try it out for 90 days. If it doesn't work, like, I, I don't know what to, I'm like, that, that was never me. I know that wasn't you. But it definitely was never me. And I was just like, dude, when, it, when, I got into the, like when I got my license as a real estate agent, I held an open house five days a week for two years and wrote 10 offers a day for two years. Like I didn't go start my marketing company and this and that and the other thing. Are you, until, telling, me, are you telling me you didn't roll in and say, hey, <laughs> brokerage, roll out the red no, carpet for me. I no, want all the best leads. Not at all. I, I, I want to be a million dollar producer right out of the gates. <laughs> I, man, and, and, and humility. And so that goes to what I was saying is, I did, I, I was, I waited for other people to recognize me and I was willing to do whatever it took, man. Like to this day, you know, whatever it takes, like there's no expectations for anything. It's just, I knew the day would come where someone would recognize the work and the effort and the grind and the hustle. And from there it would evolve and people underestimate, people are always like life's short. And, and I, is it, I mean, like everyone's like life's so short and they're only willing to work. Like, What's three to five years? Like if you had to grind and you had to have the grit and the resilience and do whatever it took for three to five years, like 
what you know life's not that short i mean i understand it could it were you know it could end at any time and stuff like that and i get that you know but just just grind like you got Dude, plenty of time i'm telling you right now it never ends there is no three to five years. You might start making some serious coin at a certain point. You might even feel successful at a certain point, but there's a new devil for every level. Yep. My problems have just been upgraded. I'm, at, I'm just at a point now where if I pay a million dollars in taxes, I'm like, that was a good tax year. You know, like that just, I, got, I got off easy this year. You know, when you're making big boy money, it's, there's, a, there's a lot of moving pieces in order to pull that off. A lot of people, I have a huge business that is scaled now. I got a lot of emotions, a lot of things that I'm dealing with, cash flow, all this stuff. It never goes away. You just become more resilient and your mind, and this is maybe, maybe the big takeaway of this video is a couple things. And I'm glad we had this conversation and I'm glad you had an opportunity to, to listen to it. And if you got something from this, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Is this a instant gratification microwave environment that we're growing up in? Is it a millennial problem? Is it a, a just a people problem in general? I'd love to hear your thoughts. But, um, you know, right now, the people that are winning, they have shifted their mindset, stopped putting self uh, uh, artificial time limits on their success. They've realized that it's a journey that's going to last a lifetime and that it's a combination of so many different things, and none of those include entitlement and ego. You gotta eliminate those two devils right out of the gate, because if you're entitled or you have an ego, you're not gonna ever, ever get the big opportunity, and if you did, it'll be short-lived because you'll burn the relationships around you. You know, so. Absolutely, I think that's a massive takeaway. You know, focus on the little things. The little things matter, uh, you know, and, and I, always, I always said, like, in the beginning, to my like mentors like you, I was like, man, like money's got, I always thought like money would make me happy and stuff too. And, and for people watching this video, like they'll probably think that until they start getting some, but enjoy the journey a little bit too. Like I've already started to realize that and I know I have my whole life to go, like you said it best, I'll never stop. Um, but you know, I've started to enjoy it because when you enjoy the journey more and you find like pleasure in those challenges, because that challenge, like you said, is just setting you up for the bigger challenge. Like if you can't, get over this little hurdle here, what makes you think you're gonna be able to pay a million dollars worth of taxes? Like, if you can't pay your 20,000 and you're complaining and, 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 and bitching and moaning to your friends and your family, well then you're not ready for the next level anyways. And so, enjoy the journey and, and just grind. Focus on the little stuff. I think that's like a massive takeaway. Well said. All right. Well, you the man hey, with the plan. Thank you, man. man. Yep. And uh, appreciate you guys for hanging out. Make sure you like this video, smash that like button and uh, turn on post notifications so that way you can get notified the next time we have one of these conversations. And until then, I'm Cody Sperber here with the man, the myth, the legend, Austin Zayback. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. See ya. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hey, listen, while you're here, why don't you click the tab in the upper right-hand corner and grab my new book, How to Flip Houses with Little No Money Down. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how I got wealthy in real estate and how you can too. Hope it helps. Oh, don't forget to watch the two videos also.